tomorrow's a big day for you. If you wanted to make a statement, I'd start with that. Just like this. I mean, you know, in life, God has to say so anything you do. And whatever it comes down to it, I'm always... This call is being recorded. You know, when I get where I'm going, I'll be able to get some medical, medical attention because he I don't get no medical attention. It's been no shit four years. I ain't been able to see my kids, talk to my kids, talk to anybody. No outgoing mail, no incoming mail, no visits, no phone, nothing. No medical, nothing. And, you know, but one of the good things about it, at least, at least, at least they got all the proof where uh, the guys on the video, uh, when they had to interview the witnesses, they told them, well, that's me right there picking up that gun. It was a gun there, and it was a gun there. And they also got... Uh, the paper trail with all the checks and proof uh, when they talked to the um, witnesses saying that, you know, Drake came to them first and asked the two guys how much it cost to get rid of me. And they said, what you mean by getting rid of them? And they said, kill them. And then you got them giving them personal checks to deliver the job. And you got the star witness saying that it was the next person hit, they get out. And he said, he told them, you got paid, you got paid, we all got paid, so let's do it, whatever. So, you know. It's those facts. It's your un understanding based on the evidence that that Dr. Dre told the two guys that met you at the burger spot to kill you. That was no, no. What I'm trying to say, based on listen, based on the, on the witness and the evidence, they talked to him. He told the two guys how much would it cost to get rid of me. They said, "What you mean by get rid of?" Me? He said, "Kill him." That's when they start coming up with prices. And the other guy, the, the director said. Uh, he, he back in his play, and they got photos of the conversation to prove it. And then they said that was personal checks. They said, when you get paid for working on a, uh, a production company, the production company gives you a check. Guys who was getting $150 a day from the production company, he gave guys 20 grand and even more in cash to kill me. It was a murder for hire case. And he gave him a personal check. Not a, not his business check, not the production company check, or not universal check, a personal check you're being sentenced and you've agreed to a plea deal of over 20 years uh people would say why would you take a plea deal like that you were about to go to trial why would you take a deal like that if you well this is the thing number one is this you gotta realize one thing for me to hire an attorney they gotta get approved by a different judge not the judge in front of a judge running in a different court they gotta get approved by the da and they got to get approved by county council. This call is being recorded. Try to hire a lawyer, they say no, or they let them come see me one time and that's it. And so when they gave me an attorney, he seen me two times in eight months and told him, he told me he went to this court and said he needed help in other attorneys. They told him, told him no. He says no way he can do my trial because he really don't know the case and he won't win. So if, if somebody stacked the deck against you to the point where they're not trying to fight for you and they won't let you get the attorneys you wish to have, what could you do? Do you think you're going to see the light of day? If it's 20 years, I mean, you're... I mean, I'm not going to discuss my situation, but absolutely. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Of course. And I still got my appeal rights, so, you know.